What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We're back again with another box opening video here. Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm. And let's just get into it here. Nuff chit chat. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been opening a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! A little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! I know uh, in the shorts, you guys uh, have been definitely saying that we uh, we're really pointing out that Yu-Gi-Oh! does not get enough love, dude. They really don't. They really don't. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I feel like is that TCG that like is almost getting niche. It's almost like niche now. You know what I mean? I can't get this box open to save me, lad. There we go. There we go. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh's been fun though. Especially uh, newer sets, dude, have been pretty fun. I've always liked the art in Yu-Gi-Oh. I think Yu-Gi-Oh has a very um unique look to it. I've always described it as like um you know like cotton candy death metal that's kind of like the vibe i get from Yu-Gi-Oh. i don't know if that makes any sense but that's definitely uh definitely uh, these are like thin packs what are these synchro storm first edition five card packs everyone's like this is uh this is not him for the Yu-Gi-Oh sets well we're gonna find out dude what's the big hit we're chasing i have no idea but we're gonna find out here so sierra de frori speed roid marble machine Stardust. Yeah, there's just always a... Oh, oh is this like a casino set, dude? Frur Synchron! Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, the uh, I know the anniversary collections do pretty good. Uh, as far as uh, um, Yu-Gi-Oh is concerned. But, yeah, the newer sets... Uh, I've, I've heard that, like, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of just like rock, paper, scissors anymore, man. Like, it really is just... Uh, Draw your hand and uh, GG. Go next. But, hey, I mean, there's probably uh, probably some fun to it, right? Now, actually, for collecting it, I love, like I said, the art of, uh, of Yu-Gi-Oh, man. The art of Yu-Gi-Oh is just very, very unique, very distinct. Uh, you'll have, like, the cutest cards ever right next to it. It'll be the Battlezorg Infinite X Generation 13. And the name literally can't even be, like, red on the card because it's, like, they had to shrink the uh, text size because it's uh, too long of a name. <laughs> but uh, it's cool, man. I've always liked it. Always liked it. Uh, oh, Tornado Dwagon. Tornado Dwagon. Look at the cow. Moo. Speedroid Horse Stilts. Pennant of Revolution. Come on here. Come on here. Are there QCRs in here? We need that quarter century rare hit. Let's go, Zeon, Speedroid, Synchron Dilemma. Synchron Dilemma. Yeah. Come on, baby. Give us a big hot. A rare Lyrilusk bird call. Kick out, baby. Kick out. Oh my god, is this a bird set, dude? It's Destiny. It was written in the stars. We, we needed to open it. Quillbot Hedgehog, Speedroid, Pennant of Revolution. It seems like a small set, dude. Where's the bangers, dude? Where are the bangers? Come on here, baby. The Quillbot Hedgehog. White Steed of the Floral Knights. Five card packs, man. Come on here. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh's Yu -Oh's fun, man. Yu-Gi-Oh's fun. I feel like from a collector's standpoint, it's just, uh, it's a nice, like, it's, it's, it's pretty cheap to get into Yu-Gi-Oh, I feel like. Um... Compared to other TCGs, as far as like collecting like whole sets and stuff like that, and uh, yeah, you know, I, I feel like it definitely has its market and it has its uh its flair to it. Speedroid, Fuki, Madoshi Piper, Madoshi Piper. My favorite part is just the uh, like I feel like anytime you're reading these names, you have to go Miriam, the True Draco Phoenix, Noble Knight Joan. Speed lift. You know, that's just the energy that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh puts off, dude. And uh, I'm here for it. I really am. I really am. Come on here. Where are the bangers, man? Where's this uh, QCR, dude? Everyone's, like, screaming in the comment section. He's like, bro, there's no QCRs in these. Well, well, well. Fair enough. Fair enough. You got me. Speed recovery. Liberty at last. Rivalusk Barrel Canary Kaka. Come on, baby. Give us the big banger. Give us the big banger. 
Tornado de wagon, Sorcia de Furor, Totem Bird! Oh my good god, baby! We were supposed to do it, dude. The Kaka set has spoken. It has spoken. Speed Road. Liberless Bird call again. Dude, where? Come on. These are all the same cards, dude. Rigged! Rigged! Stardust, Necroflior, Synchro Dilemma again, man. Come on, come on. Where's the big sauce here, dude? Where is it, dude? Yeah, I know nothing about the uh, the new, like... I don't know if there's, like, lore for Yu-Gi-Oh! Or the new state of it. But uh, if anyone knows, dude, I would love to know the lore of new current Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I'm a big lore guy. You know? I'll be waking up at, like, 2, 3 a.m. And all of a sudden, I'll be like, you know the lore and history of, like, the entire 40k Warhammer universe. And I know nothing about that. And I'll just be like, all right, well, I guess I've been watching this for, like, three and a half hours, dude. You know? It's just very fascinating to me. Like, uh, all, all like, the, uh, like, the mystery of, like, gaming worlds and stuff like that. I just want to know more, man. I'm an info junkie when it comes to stuff like that, dude. Like, the magic lore is absolutely crazy, man. It really is, dude. Like... You would not think it's so deep. And I bet Yu-Gi-Oh's is the same way, man. I bet it is. Lyrisk, speed roar duplicate. Come on, man. Where's the where's the big spice, dude? We could have just like opened the top hit like five times. I have no idea. Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon! Chevalier de Frur! Built like you too, dude. What's going on there, dude? What's going on there, hmm? Hmm? Sussy? Sussy, Tornado Dwagon, Quillbolt Hedgehog, High Speed Road, Kite Drake, dude. Dwagons. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh's definitely got their dragons down, dude. Black Skull Dragon, dude. Obviously the big bad. Oh my god, another Totem Bird Kaka. The rarities on Yu-Gi-Oh I find very interesting because it's based off the text, color, uh, as well as the different um, foilings in the uh, actual art. Or like the whole card, for example. I've noticed there's, like, prismatic rares, there's quarter-century rares, there's, like, secret rares, there's ultra rares, there's platinum rares. There's a lot, man. There's a lot to find. And there's, uh, there's like, a, a special foiling for, like, everybody, dude. I like that. I like that, dude. Speed red wheel. Come on, man. QCR something. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Clear wing synchro dragon again. Come on, there. Please. Please. Oh, oh, oh. High-speed road clear wing rider. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, you. Give us something, spicy speed lift. The horse stilts. What? Like, th this is what I'm talking about with the uh, UUR, dude. Craziness, dude. Absolute craziness. But yeah, we're going to be doing this pretty consistently, guys. I'm going to try to be doing uh, one or two box opening videos a week. Uh, we're going to be doing all different TCGs. We're going to do some, like, weird older ones. We have, like, Rage, the TCG. We have, like, Mortal Kombat right now. We have some Final Fantasy, the TCG, uh, that has been uh, really fascinating me. And yeah, I just love opening boxes. And we're going to do it a little differently, you know. We're going to we're gonna not just stick with, like, one TCG. Just rip the same box of, like, uh, you know, a standard set, like, five times that shit's like boring but uh yeah so uh definitely uh like follow and subscribe guys if you like seeing weird and unique box opening videos because we're gonna be trying stuff older vintage stuff too i'm gonna try to get some like vintage Yu-Gi-Oh boxes vintage pokemon boxes um vintage uh magic boxes yeah pro synchron well what this is the uh i think we only saw this thing like one time is it a banger is it $20? $30? $100? Well, I don't know. Thanks y'all for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Good job, baby.